Your days are numbered now, Decepticreeps. Welcome back to T and Toys. One of the Christmas Hall, that is correct. Transformers Studio 86, number 17. Transformers the movie. Ironhide. Yes, I did say in a previous video that I was not going to get this Studio Series toy. But for Christmas, he drops. Now, who does this Ironhide replace? That's been done numerous times over many channels. Now, I was actually quite content with the Earthrise Ironhide. This thing is a non Amazon exclusive. And, you know, with the pictures and the comparisons online, yeah, I have to agree with everybody else that this Ironhide's red just pop. They are the correct red. You can see from the video how like dim the reds are on his Ironhide. Like, I even thought that when I originally got him, I thought that the reds just seemed off. But he did fit. He's the right size, right height, right bulk. But this new one is just a massive upgrade from that. And like this is not a bad Ironhide toy. But I actually didn't mind the shield gimmick. That does not bother me in any way, shape or form. He came with a half decent gun, you can fit the drill to his arm. And then they drop this guy, and yeah, I armed an ard. I was not sure about him, but I relented and asked him for Christmas and got him. And very happy to have him too on the uh, shelf. But the head sculpt for both of them is very good, but this one is better. He just sort of tips. Where they went wrong on this one, this one just does it better. And it's kind of a shame that it happens when in the collecting world, you're sort of content with one figure and you're like, okay, I'll, I'll get the next one. It comes with the Autobot battle, well, Autobot shuttle massacre scene. That's his chair just there. Brawn, Prowl, and Ratchet. Well, who's next for this mold? Well, it's kind of obvious once they do Ironhide. They do Ratchet. So this is the Ratchet, that is the other partner mould for this one. And this was a horrible, annoying, super annoying Amazon exclusive. And the fact that they're just redoing him again to get this mould version out. It's one of those things. Actually come, Ironhide actually comes with the two pistols. Well, Ratchet actually duels two pistols in that scene, whereas Ironhide only gets one. Move this iron out of the way. Set the scene up. Now, funny enough, the Earthrise Prowl that came with the Ironhide, with the correct head, I might have to add. There he is on the scene all together. Brawn is touted for 2023, so we will be getting a half decent Brawn. We will be getting a new Ratchet, so this scene can be replayed, <laughs> whether you want to replay it or not. I personally don't. I'm never a big fan of character deaths. Especially not these days. Because they end up coming back to life anyway. Although these guys well, kind of did in some form. Some weird wingly wangly Japanese way. Prowl came back. And it just... That scene was just a big hitter for a lot of people. My era Transformers. Like they really did just blatter four of every top favourite characters in one brutal minute of animation with no Decepticon casualties. The Decepticons don't get casualties. Like, you can argue Thundercracker Skull, you know, they die in a way, but do they? Do they really? Well, this is Studio Series Ironhide's video. Let's peel away the other toys. Let's concentrate on him. You can see lots of great articulation on this guy. Like I said, vast improvement on the other toy. And it's an all-in transformation. No parts forming, which people seem to not like in regards to the other Ironhide. I actually didn't mind it. But like I said, all the right colours. They pop correctly. And rumours have it that they might be putting a cliff jumper on us in regards to this Ironhide. And might be doing a Buzzworthy Bumblebee version. So you have a filled in uh, windscreen just like they did on the cliff jumper. I actually, and maybe, and with the yellow line across the van, which this Ironhide doesn't get. Now, that is a bit of a shenanigans, I'm not gonna lie. The, the, like, same with Cup, the same complaint. You do a studio series that's meant to be the apex of less, uh, apex of sort of this scale collecting. Like, the masterpieces for the, like, the heavy, higher tier stuff, and they're very expensive. And this one's meant to be the more affordable stuff. 
and then they go and do tricks like that where they redo a character which already he's what nearly 40 pounds of toy this iron hide and then they go and do him again which that is just just naughty and can't imagine there'd be much more difference like the reds are the correct reds he is the animation reds you know they might paint over the bits where the guns slot on and where ratchets light bar will be attached but yeah a bit naughty if that is true uh, but i am looking forward to the ratchet when he comes out but yeah i'm happy to have a better and upgraded ironhide in the collection well it wouldn't be an ironhide video if we didn't recreate this scene from transformers the movie and here we have ironhide in his van mode you can see the differences straight off the bat the more muted, faded, pastel type red on the Earthrise versus the very glossy, glowing one here. Uh, one thing I didn't like in regards to this is these blue bits here. I think personally I would have preferred this to be in red and maybe a, st a sticker instead of the window. But again, people complained about the solid windows on this one. So it's you know, down if you do, down if you don't in that case. A lot of people grumbled about these sections here just or whatever it's the transformer so that's part and parcel of what you get from them uh, yeah it's the fact that they're blue bits and i think they could be painted red and it's such a telltale sign that that's the light bar that's going to be when this is ratchet <laughs> but there they are all in all works quite fine nice good roll test all the wheels go around on a flat surface so it's a fun little vehicle it was actually a fun transformation it wasn't too difficult I can see kids having a bit of fun with that as well. And one of the good part you can do is you can clip on the guns as exhaust pipes on the back. So nicely stores away all the weapons, all the accessories, and it's actually quite a fun fan mode. Well, what do you guys think of Studio 86 number 17 Ironhide? Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and see you guys and girls in the next video.